Okay, so in today's math lesson, we started talking about ratios. A ratio is a comparison or, or demonstrates a relationship between two things. We see here in example one, we have a soccer team. And there are boys and girls on that team. It's, co it's a co-ed soccer team. And they're telling us that the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls on the team is 4 to 1. Uh, and we read this as 4 to 1. So that's an important thing right here. Now the order matters here. So the boys represent or match up with the number 4 and the girls are matching up with the number 1. We can better see that by making a big old chart. I'm going to list the boys first to try to keep things in order. Okay, the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls. So the boys come, come first here, and the number of girls comes here, and then the total number is right over here. So if the relationship or the ratio relationship is 4 to 1, that means for every 4 boys on the team, there's 1 girl. Okay, for a total of 5 players. 4 plus 1 gives me 5 total players. Now that's not quite a soccer team, so we need to increase the number of the, team, uh, of the players so we can actually play a game. So, but if I increase the number of girls, so let's say two girls, I can't just say that there are five boys because the ratio demands that I keep this four to one um, deal going. So if there are four, four boys for every girl, if I increase the number of girls to two, that means I have to add a f four more boys, which means the boys go up to eight. Okay, we have to hold true with the ratio. It gives me a grand total of 10, 10 players. But again, that's not good enough. I need, uh, otherwise I won't have any subs and the kids will be exhausted. So we're going to increase the number of girls to three this time. But if we're holding true to the ratio of four boys for every girl, if I'm adding another girl, I need to add four more boys. Well, I had eight boys and if I add four to that, now I have 12 for a total of 15 players. And that's basically how it works with ratios. Um, and then later on here, the next problem, let me erase a little bit of what's here. It's telling me that uh, suppose the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls is 3 to 2. Let me change colors here. Well, if it's 3 to 2, I'm still using boys before girls. That's important to remember. Keep that order the same. So the boys, let me underline twice for the boys. They're for the 3. And the girls, let me underline three times. The girls are for the 2. So if I was to make a chart, again, let me just put B, G, and total, B for boy, girl, uh, G for girl, and T for total. We have that three, that two for a total of five players. Now, if I increase the boys, I want to, again, I want to hold true with the uh, ratio. So let me start with the boys this time. If I'm going to add, let's say, three more boys, I have six. If I now have six, I added three boys, but for every three boys, I need two girls. Well, if I add three boys to this, I have to add now two girls. So that brings me to four right here. And again, I have 10 players, and that's just not enough. So I'm going to go over to the boys. I'm going to add another three boys. Now I have nine, but if I'm holding true to the ratio, for every three boys, I need two girls. I have three sets of three. With the boys now, I need to add two more girls. That gives me to six girls now, and now I have a total of 15 players. A couple of things to remember again. The order is important, of course. Um, and if you're actually going to write that ratio, uh, a couple of things, a couple of ways you can do that. They have this three to two like this, which is nice using the colon. But what is also acceptable, equally acceptable, is to do that uh, using the word two and a little more advanced, and we'll get into this another time, using the fraction three to two. Okay, so that was the deal today, uh, writing out ratios and um, talking about uh, charts. So lots of fun. Thanks so much, gang. Take care. Bye-bye.